If you recycle, did you know that 90% of the items around your house right now can be put into the comp compost bin? It could be recycled or reused. Turns out though not everybody in Austin is recycling or at least not enough people in the city is trying to change that by encouraging people to use those big blue bins and they're changing the way they do that. Kate Whiteout is live in Austin with the details. Good morning. Good morning. You know, all over downtown, you have your regular trash bins, but then you also have the recycle bins kind of separated so you don't kind of mix things. But it turns out a new study from the city found a lot of what's going into those recycling bins can actually be recycled or Austinites just aren't interested in recycling. That's a big problem with the city trying to achieve zero waste by 2040. City leaders say the amount of trash being diverted from the landfill fell stagnant. So they set out to find out why and went into the homes of almost 100 Austinites to see how they recycled. They discovered that some people didn't care about recycling, while others were confused on what plastics or paper could go into the single stream recycling bin. For example, while paper can be recycled, if it has any type of food on it, the recycling sorting machine will send it to the landfill because bacteria can grow on it and a company that buys recycled paper wouldn't want it. So they came up with some solutions, like a dual recycling trash can for those with a smaller space, like an apartment. Those in the study used it, and this could be available to Austinites through a voucher program in the next year. Researchers also found that a sorting guide helped those confused figure out what goes where. We found that the recycling rules in Austin are so confusing that almost nobody does it perfectly. Even the most advanced recyclers have questions. This has really changed how we think in our department, and it's also going to change how we do our outreach. And so it's going to be just a t completely different conversation. Yeah, so instead of just assuming Austinites are recycling because we live in Austin, we're a green friendly city, uh, the outreach is really going to change and target different groups of people, whether you're not a recycler or you think you are an avid one. They're going to be issuing all the results from this study tonight at the Carver Library from 630 to 8. And you know, guys, I love recycling. I always do it. And I thought I knew how it all works. But so let's see how you do. Uh, you know, when you go buy your coffee in the morning, you have what? The coffee cup, the lid, the sleeve. Is that recyclable? Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to say the coffee cup is, but not the lid. Uh, I'm going to say it is not because when you said earlier that if there's food on yeah. the paper, then it can't be. I'm going to say that coffee counts as food in this case. Well, that's, you guys are somewhat right. So the answer is some of it. In fact, the sleeve can be recycled. The plastic lid can be recycled, but the actual paper coffee cup cannot because it's dirty. As you just mentioned, there was coffee inside of it. It's paper, so bacteria could grow on it. So that has to go to the landfill, even though, yes, it is, in fact, paper. Interesting. Huh. I'm going to say, Sally, we're one and a half out of two on this. Yeah, so, I like your thinking. We're one and a half out of two. Dude, we're, we're, we're passing the class, I'd say. It can be confusing.